I want to talk about why after months and months of trying to make your own games, you still struggle when you're sat there with a blank page and you can't actually code anything from scratch. And I have only realized very recently how to actually deal with this and change my learning experience to be more progressive rather than thinking that I know more than I do. So I'm going to give you the video chapters and I'm just going to get into it. The first thing many of us experience is this thing called tutorial hell. I think every single game developer or wannabe game developer or anyone interested in game development has gone through this tutorial hell and sometimes you don't even realise that you're in it. I know I didn't realise that I was in it because I was thinking oh all these people are going on about tutorial hell and I'm following tutorials and learning so much for them I'm fine. I was not fine. I was in tutorial hell. The problem with tutorials isn't the tutorials themselves, it's how you're using them. So as a completely new beginner, you're going to feel like you don't know where to start and watching tutorials to get an idea of how people make games is fine, it's great. And once you get to the point where you feel ready to make your first game, however simple it is, and you start referring to tutorials, you lose the element of problem solving from actually making games. And that's a problem, especially at the start, because you're going to really stunt your growth in the problem solving and creating solutions for your game department. Let's take maths, for example. If you are completely new to maths, you don't even know the basics of addition, subtraction. Why would you watch a tutorial on how to do algebra? It doesn't really make sense. And following tutorials also gives this illusion that you know more than you think you do. And so, yeah, you might follow a tutorial from start to finish and feel like, yeah, I've understood everything that this person has put into this game. But could you actually recreate that game by yourself? Probably not. So how do you break out of tutorial hell? What I recommend is thinking of the most simple, simple game to make. For example, I just did a video on collecting eggs in an egg hunt. And from there, you can think of the literal steps you need in your game. For example, you want your player to move forward. What do they need to press on the keyboard? They need to press W. How are you going to get that player input? into your code, into the game. And you break down the problems in your game into tiny, tiny bite-sized pieces and do it step by step and try and actually think about it. Use your brain. <laughs> you lose the critical thinking when you're watching tutorials because it's all being done for you. So if you want to backtrack and actually try and progress, you need to use your brain to solve problems. How am I going to get the player input? How is this person going to move along the x-axis? How are they going to move up? How are they going to move down? How are they going to jump? You need to start thinking about these things however basic they are. This is the reason why many game developers say start small, go smaller, go smaller. And I know it's hard to understand because they don't really explain why you should go so small and it is because you need to think about these small little tasks and from there you can build bigger and bigger problems and solve them yourself. I've definitely personally struggled with this because I was following tutorials for months and months because I didn't know how to go about learning how to actually make games. No one actually tells you. So I'm just trying to cut this out for you and tell you don't do this because you're going to lack that critical thinking when it comes to making your own games and you won't be able to make a game from scratch. What I would do and what I am doing is I have learned the basics of C Sharp so I'm familiar with the syntax. I know how variables work. I know how to define variables. I know how to define a class. I know the basics but you need to then implement them into your game which is the next step. I'm going to give you an example of movement. So you know that you want the input of W from your player and once they press it they're going to move in the y direction. 
but you're thinking, I don't know how to do this, I need to watch a tutorial. Try and not watch a tutorial, try and Google it instead. You might think this is the same as watching a tutorial, but it isn't because when you Google something, you have to actually read and try and implement that information into your game without the code being written for you. And use the Unity official docs. And also it's good to go to Google with specific narrow down problems. For example, I was making a game last week and I wanted to spawn random eggs on the map but I didn't want them to collide with the walls and spawn on the walls where you couldn't collect them. So I googled specifically how can I spawn an item while it doesn't collide with a wall and I found that from googling and it was in the Unity docs. So I've still used my brain and problem solved and found a way to fix this problem. Now if you're still struggling and you're not sure how to put this function that you've now worked out you need in your game, you can then go to a tutorial to find out how to use that specific function in your game because you've still done the problem solving and obviously you're not going to come up with it out of nowhere if you don't know how to use it. So only then going to tutorials is actually going to help you and aid you in progressing. So what I'm trying to say is avoid following complete tutorials and actually think about the task at hand and narrow it down to specifics and then go and use Use the internet and google it and then you can youtube it it's fine and then for the next time you make a game you're gonna remember I know that function I know how to use that in my game I can do it again because you worked it out already and you know practice makes perfect of course but that's pretty much what I wanted to say and I hope you could take something from this and it was useful. Making games isn't easy and it never will be easy but you will get better at it. Let me know in the comments if you have any more to add or tell me something that really resonated with you. But other than that, I'll see you next time. <laughs>